My name is Tom Howell. I live in Bellevue, Washington with my wife, Corby. And in October of 1999, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. Um, I ended up having a colorectal surgery, um, part of my colon and um, removed and went through about six weeks of radiation therapy and six months of chemotherapy. And after about five years, I thought I was pretty much done with cancer. And I went in and had a blood test and it indicated a slightly elevated marker. So I went in for some further tests, a CAT scan, and they determined that the cancer had metastasized to my lungs and lymph system. So at that time, I went through another round of chemotherapy that involved um, oxaliplatin, which uh, resulted in uh, uh, some neuropathy, and which is, was permanent. Um, and that worked for a few months after which the blood markers uh, started going back up. And so I started a third round of chemotherapy. This was the last round available, uh, short of going in for clinical trials. And so to prolong uh, the effect of it a little bit, after halfway through the round, after three months, uh, my chemotherapy or my, my oncologist said to uh, go ahead and take a break. Uh, for three months and then we'd finish it out and, and then uh, possibly look at uh, clinical trials. Well, during that period of time, um, I started looking around at alternatives because I didn't particularly want to be involved in a clinical trial if I could avoid it. And this was the last uh, treatment that had been uh, uh, proven and approved uh, that was available for colorectal cancer. So I got on the internet and started looking around at alternatives and there was a plethora of information out there. Um, we ended up uh, looking at several clinics down in Tijuana, Mexico. We kind of narrowed it down to that area go ahead and pursue this alternative treatment through the Essels Clinic down in Tijuana. And we went down there uh, in early May of 2006 and spent a month at this clinic uh, receiving high doses of uh, antioxidants uh, intravenously. Uh, we received these vaccines, we received their blood treatments, and we were put on a diet, uh, when I say we, my wife came with me. It, the the, the um, treatment includes a companion, uh, you know, joining you, which was really nice because I had somebody that was there with me that could support my, um, this, this treatment and, and basically what involved learning how to live a new life, a different lifestyle. And so we went down there and the, the Issel's Clinic taught us uh, how to uh, live this different lifestyle in, in the way of eating differently, um, taking supplements. They uh, developed these vaccines from my own blood and taught us how to administer these vaccines, uh, which we did for six months after returning back home to Seattle. Well, after a month of this treatment, uh, we returned home and we continued with the diet, uh, which was quite a transition. It was, you know, from what we were doing before, it was a lot different and it took a little bit of trying and, and a little bit of practice to get it down. But we found that it, after a while, it really wasn't that hard to get into a new mode of of eating and uh, making juice uh, at least once a week, 
uh, we've continued that for the past year, and I feel like that was a that's a a critical part of the treatment. We went through the entire six months of uh, administering the vaccines every two weeks. My wife Corby did that, which I'm really glad for, <laughs> and that was. Um, a year ago, when, when I got back from Mexico, my CEA counts were around 11. Um, today, actually, I just got results about uh, two weeks ago from my last blood test, and my CEA count was 1.9. In the normal range, uh, the, the CEA number is for colorectal cancer, and the normal range is zero to five. So 1.9 is in the lower end of the normal range, and I feel pretty good about that. Um, in the last several months, I have been able to return to work full time, um, and I have regained my health and have been really concentrating on regaining my uh, musculature and my physical conditioning and that has been working really well with well uh, when I was going through chemo it was pretty much impossible to maintain physical conditioning and 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 health and over the last year though I've really you know been able to focus on that and for example just a week ago I went on a hike of 12 miles and it wasn't too bad at all and I plan on doing a lot of backpacking this summer. I really enjoy the out of doors and enjoy getting out and, and doing things like that. I've been able to get to the gym and uh, three times a week and work out for about an hour uh, of aerobic exercise and that is an area that I really have not been able to pursue for a long time until just recently, and I and I feel like that is attributable to the treatment, the alternative treatment that I've received for my cancer.